In this section, we will show you how the WISE series works. The operations of the WISE controller are based on the web page interface. Before we make a connection to the controller by Ethernet, we will need to know the controller's IP address. We provide a software tool called Mini OS 7 Utility. Please install this tool on your PC. It will auto-scan for all WISE controllers connected to this PC. It will automatically finish the IP settings. We will give a brief introduction here. Please refer to the manual for more detailed information. With Mini OS 7, we can find all WISE controllers that are currently connected to this PC. After searching is finished, all controllers connected will be displayed. Select the target controller and click the IP button. A window will appear for you to assign the IP to the controller. Each controller is given a default IP address. This default IP address may not be consistent with your network IP addresses. It is recommended that you set up your PC IP in the same network region of your WISE controller. Your WISE PC will find the WISE controller and then you can configure related logic control operations via Internet. In this section, we will show you how to set up the logic content through the WISE built-in interface. When successfully connected to the WISE controller, an interface like this will appear. It will show function buttons, the WISE model number, and the number of I.O. channels it has. On your first time connecting to the controller, it will take four steps to finish your logic settings. You need to finish basic settings, then advanced settings, rule settings, and then you can upload the edited rules to the controller. For basic settings, First, let's talk about the time setting, so you can adjust the time for the controller. This function only applies to modules with real-time clock functions. Ethernet setting is for IP mask and gateway settings. If you don't want your settings to be modified by unauthorized users, you can also set up a password to prevent unauthorized access. After the password has been set, Anyone who tries to upload logic rules to the controller will be asked to input the correct password before being granted access to the controller. The default password is set to be W-I-S-E in lowercase. Module settings can be a bit more complicated. Take 71XX series product as an example for different modules may come with different AI or AO channels and they may differ in range or type. Some modules may be able to read RTD measurements, some may read thermocouple measurements. Even for the most basic operations such as voltage reading, the settings may vary. You can set the AI range to be plus or minus 1 volt or plus or minus 5 volts you can set up different reading ranges for each channel. The WISE 7902 module will be available soon. WISE 7902 is designed for connecting with ICP DAS FRNet modules. This module is good for applications that require large scale deployment. Each FRNet module is equipped with up to 16 digital input or digital output channels. Each I.O. point may connect up to 8 FRNet modules, giving you up to 128 digital input and 128 digital output points. For each 7901 controller to function accurately, you will need to select the corresponding plug-in export type from the drop-down list and save the settings on this web page. In this section, we will quickly go through the advanced settings. First is the timer setting. WISE provides 12 timer groups for timing functions. Each timer can be set to count down a given time interval, measured in seconds. Before this time interval runs out, it shows NOT TIMEOUT. And once this time interval runs out, it shows TIMEOUT. Users can include NOT TIMEOUT or TIMEOUT status as evaluation criteria for the IF condition statements. You can specify the initial status of the timer to be stop, start, or to be triggered under specific conditions upon booting up. When the timer starts to count down, 
the status says not timeout. Once the time interval runs out, the status turns to timeout. During the not timeout period, if you start the timer again, the timer will count from zero again. If you send a command to stop the timer, all logic rules related to the timer will be ignored. Next, let's take a look at the schedule settings. You can set up date, time, and day of the week as preset conditions. When the time falls in the range that matches preset conditions, the related operation will be executed. And now we come to the digital input attribute setting. Digital input channels are used as counters. DI signals may face interference, so you can set a mask in the filter field to rule out interference. The time interval for the filter is the minimum duration a signal has to make a change to the counter. In the condition field, please set the trigger criteria for triggering the counter to count. There are three options for criteria, high to low, low to high, and status change. You can also set the initial value of the counter in the initial value field. Now let's take a look at the digital output channel settings. You can set the power on value to be on or off. You can also set the counter as digital input. DO supports pulse output. You can set up pulse high and pulse low for the periodic pulse cycle. The AO attribute setting page allows you to set up an initial value for the analog output channel voltage when booting up. WISE provides 48 internal registers. They can be used to hold temporary variables for your edit rules without occupying real channels. These registers can be modified via Modbus TCP. For example, you can write to internal register 01. When its value is modified from 0 to 1, it will automatically turn on lights in a building. You can set a button from the control center so when you click on the button, the value of internal register 01 will be modified and changed to 1 to trigger the criteria of the rule related to lighting control. This function allows sending pre-input messages to preset mobile phone numbers under certain conditions. You can set up a maximum of 12 messages. Finally, we come to email setting. You can set up the IP for the SMTP server. Then enter the email account and password. Then enter the sender's name. You can send to up to five receivers. Then input the email subject and content. 